<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. A new day and new adventures. We are in Budapest. So we're here for four days to explore everything that's Budapest. Never been here before, so completely new to us. We can explore the city, the Danube. We can explore everything. Like we got here late last night and we had a quick look round, but we are gonna explore it all, aren't we? Yes, starting right now. people running, jogging, racing. So we've just escaped from the maddening crowd to this side of the hill. It's a little bit more quieter. So we're enjoying the walk and the views. We're doing what we call a where ago geocache and it takes you to a lot of the street art in Budapest. So we're gonna find some.
This is the second largest synagogue in the world. But guess what? It's closed on Saturdays. Oh, well, that's for a coming at a time. This is the back of Buda Castle. There's the dome over there. I should see some grand views from over there. So I'll go and have a look. Good evening from Budapest. We've just left our hotel and we're heading back into town because we are going to catch a bus which is a night tour around Budapest. Do you say Budapest or Budapest? Well I say Budapest. Around Budapest. Um, we've got to cross we've got to cross over the chain bridge to jump on the bus for just got nine o'clock. And it'll probably take about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half uh, tour, so we're going to see. Oh, gosh, that's bright! We're going to see Budapest at night, all lit up.
Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. Today we're heading for a little island on the river. And if you can see the bridge ahead over there, just beyond that bridge, in fact connected to that bridge, is the island. It's called Marguerite Island. So we're going to venture over there first. And then we're going to explore one or two specific places. We're going to go to Hero Square. Plus we're also going to find a statue dedicated to one American detective. So we're on the bridge and now we're going to make our way on to Margaret Island. And that's where it joins. So we're heading over there now. We are going to the top of here. Lightnesses go, that is pretty good, isn't it? So, is this your favourite man? Uh, this is Peter Falk. Yeah. The famous actor who played Lieutenant Colombo yeah. in Colombo wow. in the 1970s. And who's this? That's his dog. That's his dog's name. Dog. Dog? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. And where does he keep his boiled eggs? <laughs> One last thing. Ma'am. Ma'am. I think you killed him, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, Are you happy now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. come all the way to Budapest to find this statue. Just to see, yeah. Gosh. Hello, we've just arrived at Hero Square. Huge expanse. And the views and the monuments and statues are quite incredible. What is everybody looking at? That! The 
this just stood in front of us. <laughs> Can I say or can't no. This jolly lot just stood in front of us while we're taking photographs. <laughs> Smile. need this after a busy day of walking and columboing. Good morning from another very sunny Budapest. This morning we're at the Garden of Philosophers. So me and Elaine are very much in a thinking mood today, a very deep thinking mood and we're going to join the philosophers in this garden and contemplate the meaning of life, which for some of you will already know, it's 42. Just not worthy. I believe the great philosophers do their thinking, philosophizing. That's why I'm not there. You've got Castle Buddha over there, and on this fine Monday morning, you've got the view of Buddha and Pest over there. Budapest! Only 31 degrees today, two degrees cooler than yesterday, <coughs> still very hot. Stay in the shade, yes a touch, a tad. A chance to refill. There's water fountains everywhere in Budapest, this is probably one of the nicer ones. for a while. Ladies and 
gentlemen, I give you St. Stephen's Basilica. We go in a lane. We've got to go. We've got to go up there. Good luck. Verdict. Delicious. You can also taste orange in it as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's the orange. Well, there's orange running through it. Delicious. Do you want a slice? I want a slice. I'll try a little bit. Delicious. With a nice latte as well. Poor Elaine, she's trying to get the perfect photograph. But when you are in a place like here, with lots of tourists, it's very difficult to get the shot you're after. <laughs> the good thing about Elaine though, she's very persistent. It's like Harry Potter world, isn't it? It's a wet Tuesday morning in Budapest. So we've and decided to get even wetter. Yeah, we're going to get even wetter. We're going to Galert Baths to 
relax before we head home. Oh, it's right over there. It's open from six o'clock in the morning. Hasten to add, it's not six o'clock in the morning at the moment. What have you done? We've got a cabin. We've <laughs> got a cabin. <laughs> Red is for the cabin. Access all down. It's blue. This is very posh. Cabin. Cabin. Having a cabin. Okay. Where do I do it? Yeah, okay. Oh, this like some AF Doctor Who. What? Oh, that, yeah, it's like some AF Doctor Who. I haven't got a clue. Oh, okay. Came down the steps to get changed. As Lane just said, the temperature's gone up. Follow me, Mr. Bond. And you've got portholes where you can see through to the swimming pool. Oh, this is very nice. Well, that's if it was sunny outside. Follow the lane. Crikey, it's gone warm. Where do you go? 14, 15, 16. Right, is this the point we stopped filming? Um, maybe this is what gets us in and out of this one now it's registered. I hope so. Yeah, I think it is. We'll just leave all that stuff in here. Right. See you in a little while. Want to rent anything? If you want to rent towels or bathrobes, that's where you go. Uh, we've basically got the place to ourselves. You know, when you have a dream. And you're outside in the pouring rain with no clothes on. Well, other than my trunks. Oh, there's a sauna up here. I think that's where Lane's gone. It's so nice. So imagine on a hot summer's day, this place being packed. But today, it ain't. How's the hot pool? It's amazing. <laughs> it's too good. What else do you want to try to be there? It's yeah. Yes. Now tell me, are you supposed to go in there first and then into the sauna or the other way around? Because that's cold. That takes you through to the sauna. Lovely. 
I'm going to get into the ice barrel and see how long it's going to last. Let me show you how to use these lockers because these are amazing. To use these lockers, which are free, you put your stuff in, like so. Push to close. And then, place that there, which means you've got locker number 18. And then it's locked. And then when you want to unlock it, this is another good bit. You put your wrist thing there again and the door opens. That's cool. so much posh for at the end of the day just a large change well we hope you really enjoyed our series in Budapest if you did and you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>